Let me take you back to a long, long time ago. Okay, it wasn't that long. It was like a couple months ago. The strongest battlegrounds was starting to become one of the game ever due to Metal Bat's development and the prediction that Boros was going to be the next character. Spoilers, he wasn't. A lot of spin-off battleground games were coming out at that time, all based on different animes, and they varied in quality. But there was a game that stood off from them all. The game that wasn't based off insert anime here, but instead based off an existing game series. That game is Souls Battlegrounds, a battlegrounds game based off a of From Software's catalog of Souls games. It piqued a lot of players' interest due to the hype train from Elden Ring to release a year before. It had a good start at one point. It did have 800 to 1,000 active players, but if you look at it now, 11 players, these lost souls stuck in this endless purgatory trying to keep this game afloat. But how did it end up like this? People love From Software games and Battleground games, so how did it die? Well, the only way we'll find out is analyzing the game itself and its life cycle to really find out how did this game die. So in order to find out how this game kicked the bucket, we gotta analyze the four key things in a Battlegrounds game. The characters, the gameplay, the Take overall quality of the yes game, no. and finally the community. So I'd like to direct your now! For characters, we have everybody's favorite rod, OC Millennia, the 611 Black Hellcat owner, Gundyr, the woman that made this wheelchair man a simp, Lady Maria, and ancient Japan's most professional hater, Genichiro. Imagine getting bodied off screen? Crazy. I'm surprised at this selection because kids on Roblox do not know most of these characters. For a game like this, I'd expect number one, obviously Millennia, two, Soul Ascender, three, Godfrey, and four, maybe Ishin. So it's pretty cool seeing people like Maria and Gundyr in a game like this. Now for the first character, Millennia. She's basically Saitama, where she has a very basic moveset compared to the others, but she's not bad at all. I'll admit, I do get my ass kicked by people who play this character. Her first move is not really anything special. It can be used as a combo extender, but has the same curse as a combo extender from Heroes Battlegrounds. Practically non-existent unless your enemy is a complete retard. It also ragdolls after doing the fourth M1, so you could use it after uppercutting, down slamming, or even after doing the regular ragdoll if you time it right. The second move is just a barrage of swings. It's good for doing damage after three M1, but it does have a broken finisher. It bypasses block and it can hit multiple people for 50 damage. Teamers beware. Third move is just a basic combo extender. You do it on someone that's ragged on, you're able to combo extend. Is it consistent? Fuck no. The four move is just a parry, but this ain't no normal parry. It suffers from the same shit in Heroes Battlegrounds where you can almost parry everything, okay? There's one move where you can't parry, thank god. Now for the ultimate, you can't really go in detail about the moves. Two out of four of them are just a regular moves with effect on them. One of them is completely useless since it doesn't do that much damage and it has a really long startup so the moment someone sees it you know what they're gonna do yeah this is exactly what they're doing and the last move is just waterfowl dance which yes it's just as broken as it is in elder Man. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. All of Millennia's moves actually lifesteal, and it's not negligible. It's really big. So yes, it, that's a kind of a mild annoyance. I don't know. Maybe a skill issue. I'm not sure. Now time for Gundyr. His passive is that he can get his ultimate faster than other characters, which is pretty neat, but I'm gonna explain why this is just pure cancer. His first move, the stomp, is the most annoying shit in existence. No matter where you are, what are you doing? You have some random Gundyr man stomping on you just to get that one kill. You know, that one singular kill just to flex on a dead game. The second move is just your ordinary grab nothing special the third move is also nothing special it just serves as a combo extender and that's really it the fourth move is a basic kick move that actually sends the enemy flying if they get hit by the finisher and the finishing range is really high so expect to get raptured if you're just enjoying your life now onto his ultimate, which yes, I will explain how this is just pure cancer. The first move is a stomp plus charge move. You move a pretty good distance and it transitions into a grab move that will keep the enemy still. The second move is another grab that also keeps the enemy in place. It can be used on someone right goal. The third move is the worst shit in existence. It does so much damage and it leaves you ragdoll so the gun deer play can just rail you without any remorse and you can't do anything about it. The fourth move is just a kick but it does more damage and it sends them farther so it's pretty fun. So to wrap up gun deer, he's a mix between Gara and Saitama. OP all and a solid moveset. Now onto Maria. Now unlike the other characters, she actually doesn't have a passive so she is just a basic character and nothing else. The first move is a barrage of blood slashes that does good damage and leaves the enemy ragdolled right after. The second move is a combo extender that's good to use after the first move. Using it on someone standing still will just lag it on them though. The third move is a glorified poke that does a shit ton of damage. Also unblockable by the way. And the fourth move is where you pull out the blicky and clap people. It has three different variants which is good for combo creation. Now for the ultimate which has the exact same problem that Millennia had with unoriginal moves. The first alt move is a blood spin that Maria does in her third phase. It actually stuns people to get hit in the startup so big W's for that. Couldn't be this move. The second move is just astral split but fire. Very original. 
third move is a huge blood flame slash that's broken as fuck if you mix it with the fourth move, which is two rapid slashes that keeps the enemy still. So it's best to use this move first, then continue the GG easy with the other moves. And that's Maria. If you couldn't tell, a lot of these characters have moves that are reused to some degree in the ultimate, but we'll go more in detail about that later. Next we have Gennett. Uh, I'll let the AI say this. Alright, let's let the AI say this for us. <laughs> Run one. Genichiro. Now with Genichiro, his passive is that he can get an M1 lightning buff when he hits someone with a finisher. It's pretty fitting since this man sure loves his lightning. The first move is you slamming your sword on the ground. It can combo extend and has a very short cooldown, so get ready for infinite combos. The second move is just a Sakura dance that inner Genichiro does, and it's complete bullshit. It does a lot of damage, it has iframes, you can't escape out of it, it's just dumb. The third move is a range move that transitions into a slash. It's so poorly designed because you can't punish people doing this at all. They can aim where they're gonna go with their slash, so after blocking the two arrows, they're just gonna slash back and get distance from you. It's super dumb. The fourth move is a simple slash that's meant to go into the three, but you can use one or two afterwards to fully combo extend. Now onto the ultimate, which is probably the reason why many people quit this game. First move is a lightning slash that stuns people for a pretty long time. It also does a lot of damage for some reason. The second move is just a soccer dance with lightning, basically making an already broken move even more OP since now you stun. Now the third move is single-handedly the worst thing to fight against it's just the lightning arrow that does a huge aoe so it doesn't even take skill to aim a fucking sperm cell can hit you with this that's how brain dead this shit is and finally the fourth move is just the barrage of swings ganitra does in his first phase but with lightning and melts your health bar and when you get it it's uncancelable so in conclusion ganitra is definitely the best character because he has the most bullshit in the game that's basically it you know because fucking fuck this i hate this shit now we're finished with that it's time to look at the gameplay now Unlike other TSB spinoffs, this game doesn't have any unique mechanics like Z Vanish or the forward down slam from Heroes. It's extremely similar to TSB, but the only reason it's not exactly like TSB is because the movement is super slow. Like look at this forward dash, it takes 300 Egyptian slaves just for you to forward dash. It's annoying as fuck since you have to heavily rely on side dashing so fights are just this. And that's really it. No, I'm not joking when I say that this game is super similar to TSB, but honestly I like it this way. TSB does have the best combat from a battlegrounds game because you can actually make unique combos not just 3m1s move 3m1s so i will give this game that unoriginal but fun gameplay now we're on to the overall quality of the game which if you couldn't tell already it's not great some of the stuff i like is the addition of weather effects i like the rain and thunder it's very similar to stuff like the ishin arena and the lightning that you can see in the background only problem with it is that it drops your frame rate significantly the dragon lord placidasax arena i actually said that right down and the kanji symbol that appears when doing certain Genichiro moves, but everything else is meh. I mean, it's not bad, definitely better than certain quality games, obviously, but it's still on the mid side. The effects are okay, not bad, but not amazing. Same with the animation, not the worst, but gets outclassed by most games. And to end this segment off, this game suffers from a very special problem called character favoritism. With characters like Genichiro, you can tell that he has way better moves than characters like Maria or Millennia. It's super weird and kind of kills the other characters' playability since they're old is not as fun as Ganichiro's. Now finally we have the community, which I don't even know why I put this as a segment because there's nothing really worth talking about. It was your average Battlegrounds game community. Half of it was chill and the other half was toxic. The only notable things I could talk about is the two tournaments that happened, the content creation, and that's really it. The two tournaments were made by the community. The first one was actually recorded by me, you can watch it right here, and the second one turned into a three minute video from this guy. Speaking about videos, let's talk about the content creation. <laughs> fucking thumbnail. The content creation was kind of big when the game came out, but had a huge drop to the point where I was the only one making videos for the game. Legit last one standing, hoping that this game can get a comeback, but it didn't. So now let's talk about the state of the game today. So here we are now. Now, if you were paying attention to this video, you'll see that I didn't talk about Frost Reaper or Freed. This is because I don't consider her a character at all. She has the most bland, uninspired moves in existence. Like, look at this three. How do you go from this to this? It's sad too because she's one of my favorite bosses in that game since she has all of these cool moves that I'd love to see in this game. But that will never happen. That's because the dev gave up on the game when making Freed, and it shows. Her moves are lazily put together and feels like it was made so people can have an excuse to buy the early access character, which it was. I don't blame the dev for quitting the game. I would have done the same, especially since the game was declining in players. But now the dev shifted to other projects, and you can tell that he did improve the quality of his game. So good for him. I'm not gonna bitch about the death 
after this game. I'm simply gonna move on. So yeah, this is the final video that will probably ever come out for this game. It's a shame that garbage like Cursed Arena succeeded, but this game didn't. Well, that's the end of this. In communication.